All right, this week on Real South Hunting, I'm going to be traveling up to Missouri. Anthony and Brooks are going to be staying back in Mississippi. And we got us a heck of a crew going on this Missouri trip. We got myself, Bubba Buck, Big L, Leon Stilly, and our buddy Brandon Miller. So we have got one heck of a crew. And Big L's got a buddy, Red. He said, boy, let's go up and spend the night with Red. Find the fellas you'll ever meet. Best family. Well, buddy, he didn't lie. Them folks fed us, they put us up, and that, that night, they said, we're gonna go down to the Current River. Now that was a trip, too. Where we headed, Bubba? We heading over here to the spring. I see you in there. Camp is set, Big L is, I Camera guess, ready. Camera ready. Camera we're ready. about to go film the beautiful blue spring. It's gonna be fun. You think so? I know so. You ready? Got us a hike. There's some big foots up in here, they say. They say this is where big foot hangs out at. Yeah. It's nice and cold. On the reserve, this spring. Oh, golly jeepers. Just right, just the color. Yeah. Check that out. So that's what it looks like. Just 40 yards down. Hey everybody, how y'all doing out there, man? It's your boy Bubba Buck, man. Coming at y'all live today. Man, we out here uh Blue Springs and uh Current River. And up coming walking a group of folks in here. I have met Cody Graham. All right, Cody is Miss Vicky's son. Miss Vicky worked up at Carla's. And if y'all y'all know this, watch our show. Me and Miss Vicky were buddies. I got a pecan pie every time I went to Arkansas. Every time I caught, except for one time, I text her and I text the landline. Looks like crew getting ready to go, y'all. He said, "Look, every light, and there was light." Check it out. Alright, Brandon, me and you gonna team up in one boat. I ain't stuck with double buck, we're gonna team up in another boat. I mean, that's good though, because like I said, sometimes if you hesitate, yeah. you'll, you'll always miss it. Now the gigging didn't work out just like what we thought it was. You know, it looked pretty easy. Well, when them fish is down there, you know, they're about that deep and you gotta throw this spear thing at them and hit them. I'm gonna just say we left some for everybody else. We did not get over the limit. What happened, man? I'm here. Alright, a big shout out to our buddy Red and his family for just taking us in and treating us like family. And we just loaded old Red up with us and took him right on up to Missouri. Alright, now Missouri is always a ton of fun. Y'all seen us have, uh, we've done shows there before. So I just got out and scouted and sure enough I found a good, good deer trail coming up and they were jumping the fence. Looked everywhere and it was a big holler and there just wasn't no really good place for a lock on. And I said, I believe I'm gonna just use me a ground line. Rode in about daybreak. Watch what this is at. Feel like we're ready for going. Oh, I didn't mess them up. I didn't really smoke them. They were soft. They just kind of meandered off when I pulled in. They seemed to be coming up this path truck.
saw four or five bucks, one big white horn buck, and I said, that is the boy I'm waiting on. There was another couple of shooter bucks there, but old white horn was one I wanted. So I pulled out. I said, he'll be dead in a few minutes. Me and Bubba went back over there. So all we got to do is drive up to him and pull him out. Well, it didn't quite work that way. He was still alive. And we jumped. And I told Bubba, I said, look, let's shut it down. Let's get out of here. Let's go back and come in the morning. Well, sure enough, we come back the next morning, picked the blood trail up, and the coyotes had beat us to him. You gonna see if I can see where we walked across here. I can and put us right on the blood. All right. This is where we went up. Right here. See if we can follow this blood around us this morning. Got blood? I told Brandon I've been hunting over here in doggone coyotes by the droves. And I told Brandon if there's any way we can get him, eat the back straps, eat, eat everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, give God the praise we found the buck. Uh, not 
not ending the way we want it to. I've been playing tag with these bucks for two or three days now. There's a big white horn buck, and there's this, this nine horn. This nine horn had a body, unreal, really mature deer. He was one I wanted the whole time. Uh, when you see the video, you'll wonder why I wasn't after the white horn deer, but uh, I just, this was a more mature deer. He was an older deer. This is a five year old deer, and that's just what I was up here for with a mature buck. So, appreciate y'all for watching. Buck down, Northwest Missouri. Heck of a hunt. Now, as always, we had a good hunt up in Missouri. Man, a fun time with Jeremy and Tyson and the whole crew. And killed a good buck. Got to bring a good buck back to Mississippi and can't wait to go back next year. All right, fresh back from South Dakota, pheasant hunt. Now it's time to get in the deer stand and put a deer on the ground. All right, back in Mississippi, back at the camp and it's a uh, kill weekend. That's, I've already called it, no, no mercy rules. Kill weekend, gotta put some meat in the freezer. Hopefully a big old doe will come walking in this evening. I'm hunting by myself today. Turbo had a birthday party or something going on, one of his friends, well, here we go. Slept in this morning, didn't go early, but I didn't miss a thing. Deer hadn't been on camera until about an hour ago, started getting pictures. I had a little buck come in last night, but uh, hopefully it'll pick up here in the next couple of days. It was hot yesterday, man, I was sweating. And now it's down in the 40s. Gonna be 31 tonight. <coughs> and we cold here in South Mississippi and the wind's blowing, so that makes it even worse. Yesterday evening. <clears throat> Got a lot of does coming in here. A couple of bucks, but I'm really looking to put some meat in the freezer, so hopefully a, a beautiful doe will come in here. And I can go ahead and put her down. Make some fresh back straps. That would make me very happy. Smoke City, Smoke City like you ain't never seen. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. I kind of dozed off for a second and something woke me up. I just looked and she was standing in the food plot. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna say that she didn't go very far. So I'm gonna get my string wound up here, get my bow up, and we're gonna go drag her out.
bridge a little thicker out there. Try to find a better way in there. Tell you what, it's November the 12th. This is my first deer of the season, and I can't be happier. Get me a doe, get a doe down, get some meat for the freezer. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to get out here and do this hunt, fish. It's a blessing for sure. So it's early November, been bow hunting a little bit. You know, it's, it's time to whack something. Sure enough, I had a good spot down in some hard woods that a bunch of does have been coming in. Hadn't really had many bucks in there, so I was like, that'd be a good spot to go sit right before dark, pop one, one of these big old nannies. Kind of a rush hunt, you know, hour before dark, get in there, sit there 10 or 15 minutes, deer start coming out and uh, they kind of would cross the, the lane I was sitting on and they'd come back and I never really got a good shot right at the beginning and finally the old doe, well, she'd come out there and stop broadside about 25 yards. Gave the footage to Brooke and somehow or another he lost the footage, I ain't sure how. I'm not sure what's going on there, Brooke. Do you know? <clears throat> Seemed like there was a mishap somewhere. <laughs> there may have been a mishap somewhere, but. Well, we got one shot or what? Well, we got one shot. Now, whether uh, she is expired yet is to be determined, but we're going to go take a peek and see what the area looks like in the shot site. <clears throat> uh, not real sure what happened on the shot. I was in a hurry, running out of memory card, running out of battery on the camera. Did a little rush, draw and shoot, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened on the shot, but it was way, way back, way back. come down here and stop running and then start all that kicking on the ground a little bit. <sighs> Once again, the reaper has done it. The ground reapers are bad. I mean, you can shoot what you want to. They don't sponsor us, they should. But, uh, they do a number on one. I hate for y'all to even see this because it's bad. But, uh, Freezer Queen. Brooke said uh, he got one yesterday. He got him a Freezer Queen, and uh, I had to follow suit today. Him and Stubbs talked me into it. Well, we went right to her. She ran, what, 30 yards, maybe? Yeah, about 30 yards. About 30 yards. Did not go far at all. Uh, did exactly what I thought she did. Um, you know, it's November 13th. Got some cold weather finally. And I had a chance to go hunting. I was so excited that I uh, was able to get in there, saw a bunch of deer, and uh, I think this was seven or eight that I'd seen. I was finally able to get a shot. Uh, she just wasn't getting perfectly broadside for me, and I was, like I said before, running out of camera battery, memory card, and all that good stuff, but uh, got it done. Real south hunting, baby.
I don't get much better than this. Fresh back straps for the freezer. Let's pull her out of here. Give God the praise, another deer. Real South hunting. Well, we had a good time on this episode. Stubbs was up at the Blue Springs in Missouri and even got to knock down a big buck. And me and Anthony got to put some meat in the freezer. Y'all catch us back here next week at the same time. All right, y'all stop what you're doing right now. Go check out the YouTube channel. Give us a subscribe, like, and comment. That sure will help us out. I never saw fish. Yeah. Didn't we bow hunt? Gigged them. Gigged them. Okay, I knew we were doing something. So our buddy Red, his family is going to take us down to the current river. Just the shore of the world. Nick in there. Ready to go again. We'll clean it up and use it again. Burger meat, sausage, all that good stuff. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go.